guys, and welcome back to another episode of Rebuilding Wimbledon. Now, um, if we could get 400 likes on this video, that would be genuinely fantastic. Enjoy some highlights of the games we play this month. There's been three. I'm not exactly smiling, and you're going to find out why in a minute, but I'll join you guys in a sec for that, and we can kind of try and dissect what's just happened. I'll see you guys in a minute. Lyle Taylor, can he find him? He needs to. He didn't. Pulls it back. No, he doesn't. Pulls it back again. Comes to Frankham, scores in the end. Very selfish from Loveridge originally trying to score there, but he's managed to get the ball to Frankham in the end, and we do have the lead here. Massive goal. Oh dear, so much space opening up, and it's a simple goal for Bolton. We've allowed them through, and Jordan Bowery has scored. Picked up by Barcham. He's got space into the little channel there, if you can find it. Shenton slips it through for Harris, of all people, and Harris has put it in off the post. Tony Harris's first goal of the season gives us the lead here. Wow. First ever goal. Bit of a mess down on this wing. Fuller does get it back now. Drops it off for Harris. Can he find a pass? Find Shenton. Shenton can slip this through for someone. He's good at that. Finds Loveridge. Loveridge is in. Loveridge can't do it the first time, but he does it on the rebound. And it is 3-1 to Wimbledon now. And this could be the win that puts the sort of first step towards the championship for us. Oh, for the love of Jesus. Can we stop with these silly goals, guys? Come on now. Bolton 2, Wimbledon 3. Don't you dare let them get another one, guys. Come on, let's not get silly. There's enough players around to make this a simple clearance. Stewart's across and Oh my god, we've conceded a third. Are you joking? Bowery slips it through. Burn clears it. Taylor's onto this. Can we get ourselves a late winner after losing a two-goal lead again? Taylor needs to get a ball in. He does. Aziz is at the back post and it is in and it is Bolton three, Wimbledon four, Adebayo Aziz with the goal. This time make it stick, guys. There we go. Finally, a 4-3 away win. We made that much more difficult than it needed to be, but we got the win in the end. At some point today, that will be delightful. Never mind, just let them score instead. Wimbledon nil, struggling Burton one. That's a poor start to a home game. This is our game in hand that could basically see us promoted. So come on, Taylor clears it straight back to the co corner taker for some reason, uh, and then just leaves him to walk in off the bench. Bevan, oh my days, are you serious? Conlon, this is going to be one of those games where every shot they take that hits the target goes in and everyone we have that's a good chance doesn't. There you go. There's a third one for Burton with their third shot on target. It's going to be one of those games, guys, unfortunately, which is annoying because we've been in really good form up until now and it's just been shat out the window. Polio into space here. Don't let him score. Oh, my life. We're about to finish the season in shitty form. It, it just feels like we're just not going to get an automatic promotion spot now. The Burton game has just come out of nowhere and destroyed us. That's going to be it for us, I think. Out to Big Mana. Amazingly playing for Oldham now. Um, Winchester's ball across and Polion amazingly has put it in again. They've had two shots and they've scored both of them. It's clinical. It's it's Burton again. Um, I don't know what's going on at the moment, guys, to be honest. <laughs> Harris, out wide for Fuller. We need to get back into this game and fast. Oh, slapped across the goal and everyone's making mistakes. They Loveridge gets us back in the game. We have to equalise in this match. We need a point. Oh, there we go. We had two easy home games, or two easy-ish home games. Win one of them, we're probably up, and we fucked it up. Right, guys, we're back. And as you can see, we are somehow... Well, not somehow. We, we deserve to be exactly where we are, thanks to the ridiculous things that have happened to us this month. And I say happened to us by our own doing, frankly, because it's just been the most absurd. Like, we had... So we got the win against Bolton, and it was like, yes, we're finally going to... We just need one more win at home, really, um, out of the two home games, which are fairly simple. You know, Oldham were not... Well, I think they might have been around this sort of area, and Burton were certainly down here as well. Wins against these teams at home have not come difficult to us at any point in the season. In fact, I don't think we've lost at home to any side in the bottom half. In fact, I think our home record has been outrageously good this year. And that's one of the reasons we've done so well. Uh, to be honest. I just want to have a little look at this, um, if I can. So, in terms of home games, um, I don't know if we can even show you who we've lost at home to. But, actually, I'll just show you on the uh, schedule page. Because, of course, then when we can see things, I'll just filter it by uh, home matches. So, you can actually see how many times we've lost at home this year. So, we lost at the Capital One Cup at home. And then we lost in, uh, home to Preston. That was our first home defeat in the league. And then suddenly out of nowhere, we lose 3-0 at home to Burton. Like in a game where they had three shots on target and they scored all of them. And fair play to them, they were clinical. But what were we fucking playing at? Seriously. It, out of nowhere as well, because we were in decent enough form as of late. Um, you know, we kind of picked it back up again. And actually won three games in the on the bounce. Um going into that match, you know, two of which were away from home, of all things. So, yeah, very, very surprising and very, very annoying. And then it came to the Olden game, and the same thing just continued, basically. I think we went through a spell where we conceded, like, two, like, five consecutive shots on target. 
I don't know what happened to us. We just lost all the plots. And frankly, against Oldham, we should have at least got an equaliser. Burton were great, and I, I give them credit for that. We still shouldn't have lost 3-0, but they were great on the night. Oldham, we should have drawn that game at least, but we didn't. Um, we had some guilt-edged chances, and they just weren't going in, unfortunately. And it, it looks like that's pretty much fucked us in terms of our chances of automatic promotion, because Barnsley have got Rochdale at home today, and I cannot see them losing that, or even dropping any points. We've got Dagenham and Repridge, and I think we'll probably win this game, but it doesn't matter, because our goal difference is 13 worse than Barnsley's, and I'm just so gutted, because we were in a great position to get automatic promotion, and we fucked it. It's a real shame. Apologies for my language as well. That, that's unnecessary, but it's just very, very frustrating. Um, I have been looking at some signings as well. If I just quickly show you our scouting. Um, so here's our shortlist. Obviously, it's similar to the one I was looking at before. I'm still picking off a few players of these. Um, Jermaine Grandison will be signing for us. He plays for Doncaster at the moment, but I've picked him up for 10 grand. He looks like a decent centre-back, and he can play fullback as well. But he looks like he's got a bit of potential too, so we'll bring him in. He looks decent. I don't know if he's injury-prone or not. Hopefully he's not. We've I don't think he's fully scouted, but we can see his stats. So that's good. And um, there's another one that I've been after. Uh, Scott Roberts. I tried to sign Scott Roberts um, because he's a free agent and he's actually decent. Problem is he's got damaged cruciate ligaments and the club won't let me bring him in because of the injury, which is annoying because he will get over the injury. And he only wanted like £200 a week. Bit stupid, but there you go. There's one other guy, Jamie Graham. Um, I looked at him. I desperately wanted him. We got a bid agreed by Ross County of, of £350,000 with two fifty up front another 150 uh, sorry another 100 next year and i offered him a, a massively good contract uh, as you can see he's joining newcastle because they've paid 50 grand no 50 grand for him they've not paid a lot of money for him uh, i think it was like 50 grand newcastle paid for him which is a bit frustrating because he's gone to newcastle for 50 grand when we were offering them 350 grand technically and 250 up front i know it's newcastle and our contract we offered him like 1400 pound a week they offered him 500 on like a two-year deal we offered him four years a little bit annoying, uh, but there you go. I suppose you'd much rather go play for... Oh, sorry, go not play for Newcastle than join us and play for us. But there you go. That's just how it is, isn't it? You just have to kind of get over that sort of stuff. Anyway, so let's get into today's game. Um, if we can, I presume we're on the match day. Uh, I feel like I've done that huge error and not actually gone to the match day. That would be a bit awkward of me. Let me just uh, quickly do this stuff and... Right, guys, we're back. Sorry about that. I actually didn't get us to the match day. That was really stupid of me. Um, in the meantime, Oliver Shinton has been handed a five-match ban for getting sent off against Burton. Five matches! But there you go. Um, they seem to be getting more and more every time one of our players gets sent off, even if it's their first defence. If someone else gets sent off today, they'll get like a nine-match ban or something. But there you go. Anyway, calm. We need to be calm about this. We're playing Dagenham and Redbridge. I think we can win, but then given what we've done in the last two games, God knows. Um, Rochdale versus Barnsley is a tough one, but Barnsley have suddenly hit form at the exact right time and they will get that second spot. And it's so frustrating because all we would have had to do was get ourselves a win against either Burton or Oldham. In fact, I think if we'd have even got a point against one of them, we'd have been fine. And But that, that's on us, isn't it? You know, We've not had the experience to get across the line. It's a real shame, but we're just going to have to make do with what we've got in these situations. Um... I'm not going to do a question of the day. Uh, actually, we might do one if we get into the game. We'll just have to see. Uh, as you can see, Tony Harris is back to abysmal again because it was up to um, fairly good. Or was it? No, it was very good. It was very good. Then I clicked continue. The next day, it was back down to abysmal. No reason for it. It just was. So he ain't going anywhere. He's, he's going, basically. There's nothing we can do about it. Um, even if we get him up to good morale, it just drops straight back down again when nothing happens. But there you go. Uh, anyway, so Taylor Loveridge... Barcham Tunga, because literally we've got no one in the midfield at all now with Reeves suspended as well as Shenton. Oh, Reeves is injured and suspended, sorry. Uh, or is he no longer suspended? He's probably just injured. So we're going to have to go with a pretty weak midfield uh, of Tunga and Harris, unfortunately. And I think that could struggle for us today, which is another issue for me, unfortunately. So we're just going to have to get into the game and see what happens. It's just... I'm fr it's frustrating when you're in such a good position and then out of nowhere the form hits you like that because we were actually in good form three matches one on a bounce usually that gives you a bit of a good run particularly when you're coming into two home games and then out of nowhere bear in mind Burton were playing the exact same system as Bolton and we were brilliant against Bolton away from home admittedly we did because it three goals which was very very poor and I think I should have seen that as the start of that we looked at the pro zone stats and marked up every single key player and the players just weren't bothered um I think it's just one of those things where sometimes they're just not going to do what you say. And it's frustrating uh, and disappointing, but we're going to have to try and do our best today against Dagenham and Redbridge to get the win here and hope that Rochdale do us a massive favour by taking points. What's more likely to happen is that we'll concede from a long throw or a corner or something like that, such as our sort of system. Here we go, Harris. Well, that was a woeful pass, but he's somehow found Loveridge anyway, which is... Loveridge is at the back post. Can he shoot? Hit... Oh, good save from Macy there. But we're looking good in the first nine minutes. We've had a chance. We've hit the target, which is nice. Barnsley have yet to... Uh take the lead against Rochdale either. But the thing is, we need to win our game. That's, that's the most important thing. Um, if we don't win our game, I'm actually going to quickly turn on, uh, if I can, other 
important scores because otherwise we won't see what's happening in the Barnsley game and that's kind of important to us right about now. So, uh, keep an eye on that. We're not being overrun in the midfield. We've got 60% possession. I know that that doesn't always mean the midfield, but still, I've seen that stats... Like well, when we were six one up against Birmingham early in the season, I got that notification. Taylor through, he's gonna miss. He's not gonna miss. Yes, sorry, he's literally missed every single one of those opportunities for about the last. And um, Barnsley are winning. Barnsley are bloody winning. <sighs> we're leading. That that's the main thing. We're winning the game. But why couldn't we do this in the last game? Nothing's changed. Ah, uh, like we've got that brilliant home form the entire season, and then goes to the final four matches. You got two away, two at home. How on the hell have we won both the, or looking like we're going to win both the away games and then lose both the home games? But that's just how football is sometimes, isn't it? So, oh, I just have a horrible feeling, though, that going into the playoffs um, off the back of some relatively poor form. I mean, who would we get in the playoffs? We'd be playing against Coventry as things stand. And a second goal would make me feel a lot more comfortable and would allow me to sort of maybe do a question of the day. Um just to sort of wrap things up. It's still very frustrating, but it looks like there won't be the end of this season uh, just yet at the moment. Fuller. Pulls it back, Frankham, and Tunga puts it in at the back post. Unexpected score, but there you go. We're two goals to the good, and frankly, we're cruising, and... Ah, well, there you go. I, I don't think that... I didn't even see the score come in from the other game, but I'm assuming that they only won their up, because I feel like we'd have seen it up here if there was another goal in that game. Um, if we could grab a third goal, that would be very, very delightful. Over the top for Loveridge. That's beautiful play. Uh, ball across. Taylor's in there again, and we've got a third. Uh, Peterborough losing to Port Vale. That doesn't make any difference to us right now, but... The key thing is, I don't know if there's a way we can see that, actually. Is there a way we can look at latest scores? There probably is, but I, I don't want to find it right now. We'll we'll take a look. It's almost certainly that Barnsley are winning 1-0, because we've not seen another goal. Um, Iffy Allen and Jody Jones are being swapped around. Both fantastic names. Um, uh, they're going to get one back, it looks like. Um, oh, hello. Actually, maybe not. Go on, win that. Nicely flicked on. At least we've got the ball out, and we should be able to regroup a little bit here and get our men back into the right positions. They're quite advanced over on this side. Got, this number 45 guy looks like he makes quite a lot of runs deep because he keeps sort of jostling as if he's going to make that run. Dagenham haven't actually been that bad today and they definitely don't deserve to be 3-0 down really, I don't think. But oh, and the goalkeeper didn't come because of course not. And we are back. Well, they've got one well, back. They're not going to win the game, but they've got one back through Joe Edwards. So fair enough to them. Um, so we could probably make a substitution soon. And Christian Tunga is the one I would like to bring off because he's the least fit of the lot. But unfortunately, we're lacking a little bit in the centre. And that could be part of the problem we've had, losing players like that. Josh Falking will come in for him, actually, uh, since Foxy is there. Loveridge has not been great today, but he's got... It's nice to see Lyle Taylor finally step up and show me that he's not the worst player in the world again. Um, maybe this is the start of him having some good form. It'd be nice if he could get some good form, because frankly, it looks like we're going to need it in the playoffs. I'm just praying for a Rochdale goal right about now. If Rochdale do score, I will be very 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 happy um you'll notice it you, you will notice it i promise you that um but yeah question of the day people want to um ask me what i'm going to do for the next save I, I haven't fully decided but i'd like to do something similar to what i'm doing with yotabor over on um well, like my personal save so to speak and right we're going to get him off as well actually it doesn't look like there's anything happening in the other game, but it doesn't look like that's going to make any difference to us. But yeah, we're basically, what I'm doing over there is in Sweden, I'm playing as IFK Yotobor, but the idea is to try and improve the league. Oh my god. This is what I mean. We get in great positions, and then it's just like they switch off. Um, admittedly, we could change the tactic to try and counteract that. Okay. Okay. No, no, no. Right. I'm going to put this on contain now, and we're going to drop much deeper because that way they won't get those low crosses in and we'll be able to block them. Is there anything else I want to quickly turn on? Waste time, yes. Pl uh, we play even safer. We've got three minutes. If we can get through the next three minutes of this match... Oh no, don't you fucking dare. There we go. We'll... Wait, hang on, what? I swear that it said that they were... Did they fucking do oh. they, they scored a late re... <laughs> Sorry, my brain just went absolutely haywire there. Authority professional job. Well, yeah, brilliant. But you didn't get promoted, did you? Did they score a late winner? They must have done. Oh, they bastard did. They bloody did it. They scored it. I thought when that 90th one... It... Oh, we were so close to promotion. We nearly got bailed out there. And frankly, 89th minute, Chris Willock scores for Barnsley. And now we're going to go into the bloody playoffs. Disappointing. I have to say, it's really fucking disappointing. Because we've done so well this season. And then just that last little slip at the hurdle there has really buggered us. Um, so it looks like we're going to be playing Coventry. 
Right, slight technical snafu here. Basically, my game capture software decided to cut out at this exact moment and, of course, took the sound with it because that's what I use to record my sound. Now, obviously, you can still see the camera going in the bottom corner, but because I use Adobe Premiere, it doesn't like the sound files from my camera. So, basically, um, yes, we did get drawn against Coventry, of course, in the playoffs, and you will see that in uh, the next episode, which will be tomorrow. The also, if we do get through to the final, that will be tomorrow as well because it's a double upload day. Uh, but thank you for watching this episode, guys. Sorry this had this weird ending, uh, but this is the only way I could think of actually solving the problem uh, without just cutting out randomly so yeah this is me from the future slightly i only just noticed this because i've just gone into editing so yeah um if you have liked the video despite this please do drop a like on it that would be fantastic and if you haven't already please do subscribe to the channel and i will join you guys tomorrow for the uh, playoffs against coventry and hey you never know where we can go after that so thank you so much for watching guys and i'll see you guys tomorrow